is a tragic story of a teen girl. Her name is Lila Perry. She's a transgender student at Hillsborough High School. Now, what happened was hundreds of students walked out because she had asked to use the female locker room in the female bathroom because she identifies as female. So the students there thought that this was um, offensive, and so they all walked out. Prior to that, which definitely set the tone, why these students acted this way, is the parents had a meeting about it. And the meeting was so well attended that they had to move the meeting to a bigger facility. So that mm. should give you some context on why probably these students are acting this way. Not only has she dropped out of the physical education class because people were bullying her, but also uh, during the walkout, she ran and hid in the guidance counselor classroom because she was in fear of her safety. She did release this statement at a press conference. She says, quote, it feels really awful that people are going to these extremes against me, not just in school, but all over the internet. But I've also received so much support. It feels really surreal to be in the middle of all this. I can't with this. Like, 17-year-old girl has to fear for her safety just because she wants to use the bathroom that she identifies with. Mm -hmm. You would think that now with, with teens, I mean, I, this is in Missouri and not to, you know, to, to put out there that Missouri is, is, is intolerant. A backward, hypocritical state? Is it's, that what you want to throw I mean, out there? I'm just, just saying, I'm just It's asking. shocking because here in Los Angeles, we even see in, in our... Um, audience that always writes in seems to be very tolerant and very empathetic and they correct us and then I hear this and I would always think that 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 the younger generations are more accepting and intolerant but not in this school a hundred people walking out on yeah. you how do you think that makes that little girl feel this happened in high school right and I the thing is I expect more instances like this in high school but when it comes to a college situation right we talk about Duke oh, and what happened right. with their uh, basically students being a strong advocate against opening their mind and reading up a, a specific chosen book in which they weren't, they didn't go along with their religious values, right? And that infuriated me more so as well because really? it's college. Yeah. Like if you don't want to learn more about different things that, that, that go against your beliefs, why are you going to college? Yeah. Like if you go to college and you're a strong Democrat and suddenly they start talking about Ron Reagan, you're going to walk out? You're going to walk out of class? That's no, a you're really there good to understand and you're there to to basically sculpt your own frame of mind so that you don't judge a book based on its cover. And this is a, another example in which people are judging. And I, I, it blows my mind that there's so many people attending to try and be an advocate against yeah. this happening And in to high provide school. context well, really quickly, the book that you're referring to is called Fun Home. Mm -hmm. And Fun Home is a book about a lesbian girl that has a, uh, is it a closeted in, gay yeah, father? Yeah, closeted gay father. And this, is, this was a recommended yeah. reading from the school, a summer reading, and a number of students have boycotted it, saying we're not going to read it because it, they, 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 they listed it as pornographic. And again, the, the school wrote back and said, listen, you're, you're entitled to your beliefs, but we also want to expose mm -hmm. and, and help you see things from outside of, you know, just to open your mind. Not to play devil's advocate, to be fair, in the, in the instance of the school, the university, school? The university is university. Duke, okay. okay? And Duke is a fundamental Protestant school. It's based on Protestant, um, Protestant teachings, right? So I can understand students there feeling that certain way, and it's very nice that we live in big cities where liberal open-mindedism is something that we've become accustomed to. However, just in, like in the case of any civil rights issue, and this is clearly a civil rights issue, everything happens in baby steps, mm -hmm. right? So this is not anything unlike what happened with the desegregation of schools in the South. It's very similar. And, but it's not as simple. This isn't just the color of skin. This is the identity right. psychologically of what we identify with as sexuality, right? Growing up, well, we gender even and sexuality, two different well, things. Well, or gender. gender. So we're yeah. going with like the concept of when we were growing up, there was that uh, movie Kindergarten Cop, and the cute little kid was like, boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Well, that's how the world has seemed to work for the last three to 5,000 years. And now we're saying that maybe that's not exactly the case, right? Yes. But it's also different when you're dealing with teenagers. Like, how do you tell when someone's identifying or someone's just trying to be porn? right yeah. I don't know so it's like maybe to play devil's advocate we do need three bathrooms one for people with penises regardless of gender one for people with vaginas regardless of gender and one for people who want to go number two because that's just disgusting like I don't want to hear that you know what I'm saying while I'm in the bathroom peeing like it's just not the place for it like, but I don't think any teenager you. is going to go out of their way to 
pretend that they're transitioning so they can get into the girl's room. I don't. And I, I would you imagine, underestimate the okay, teenage but I would boy. Imagine because this I'm, would be yeah. a step-by-step -step process. I'm sure the, the students have talking to guidance counselors. Unfortunately, in this area, I don't even know if there's adequate doctors out there that can help them transition. That's really unfortunate, too, that a lot of these, these trans teens don't even have the health care that they need in order to transition. Mm -hmm. But I would imagine that there's a way to decision before they decide to place a trans teen in a male you know facility or versus a female facility and I think what needs to happen rather than these parents uh, having such a primitive and really illogical and and mean spirited because it, I, I know people are gonna say oh but those are my beliefs yeah but then when you're running out on somebody because they're living their truth that's hate it is that's hate but that little girl is then in the guidance counselor room feeling like that nobody likes her nobody understands her that's why that there's an 80 percent percentage of teens trans teens attempt to commit suicide 80 percent of them that is immoral that is not okay and so if they 100%. want to use the female bathroom because they are female because gender is up here not up here Okay, we need to get that out there. There needs to be education in these schools so these kids can be tolerant and understand that whatever the doctor put on your birth certificate does not but that's, mean that you're a boy or a girl. We haven't studied that enough yet. Like we, we need don't to. know. We're studying it we now. Need to it's because a new people thing are dying. now. We need to because people are dying. Okay. And, and this, this is an all factor about this. Like I'm just going to put this as plain as it can be. In, as far as I know, in a woman's restroom, it's enclosed doors. You're so right. are you going to see anything that there that people it's the are? the locker room too that they well, were. Okay, if it's about. a locker room, it's, it's another issue you can talk about. But from what we understand, is she was trying to go in to use a restroom as well. Like this is a problem. People will be a strong advocate for that. That people can't go and use the restrooms because their gender, as Sam said, it's, it's, it's in their it's their mind. This is how I strongly believe it's how people are born. And oh, I 100%. think that is, and it's how. And I think it's the most horrifying thing to think that you're trapped in a body that you're not, your mind is not in. So you want to try and help that person transition. So if they want to go to simply use the restroom, and if it's, a, if it's someone who uh, believes that they are a female and want to go in and use the restroom, they're not harming anybody. They're going in there to... And I understand your point of view, specifically when it comes to teenage boys. But what my strong uh, aggression towards this comes out of is, you said, is the parents, is the beliefs. Your beliefs can focus the way that you want to live your life. But do not uh, hinder other people living mm -hmm. their lives because that's their beliefs and everyone's got the right to try and follow through with what they want to do, specifically in the college and high school environment. This is education. You're supposed to try and allow kids to open their minds so that when they are talking school, about a school that doesn't school. even teach evolution. Probably, so yeah. Here's the thing. Like, yeah. and, and I want to uh, let just clarify that it's not my position. I'm saying I'm playing devil's advocate because yeah, everyone's right. so easy to jump on the bandwagon of, of course we should do it this way. Right. But that's not as black and white as the world seems to be. The way it is, is I feel like, you know, in New York City, when you go to a nightclub, bathrooms are gender neutral. You go in there and take your chances, right? I get that. But at the same time, how would you feel if it was a situation where it's a grown man who is trans, uh, transitioning. transitioning into being a female, mm -hmm. going into a bathroom with your teenage girl or your prepubescent girl because that's the girl's bathroom. I don't like, think grown men thing. use the students' uh, bathrooms. We, I mean, actually, when you go to school, when you go to high school and like you have visitors, it doesn't, oh, it's not like we have yeah. a special visitor room. I'm just saying, in the law, it's very simple because one size fits all. Right. And in this situation, there's a, a group of people where this one size that usually fit everyone up to this point no longer fits. And it's unfortunate. It's going to take time. And I hope that as a society, we all learn to work together yeah. and more importantly, how to live together. I know. And at the end of the day, like, because again, you know, we, we talk about this a lot on Dr. Drew and a, and a lot of the criticism will come from people that are faith-based. And, and it's unfortunate because you're giving people that are faith-based a bad name. I know a a lot of people that are Christians and Catholics and very devout and they're very accepting and loving and tolerant. So when you, you meet, are, you should meet some Jews and Muslims too. <laughs> Throw in some Hindus for yeah. good measure. Well, you need to choose. You got. You can't pick and choose what works for you in the Bible. You can't say, yeah. "Oh, this is this is against our beliefs." But then again, isn't love thy neighbor and thou shall not mm -hmm. judge also part of your beliefs? So, yeah. And that's a, that's the point that you I wanted to go back to. You're talking about Duke and. Is that not how we're going to promote living together and, and, and understanding everyone has different beliefs is by, especially in by college, educating people, educating people to, to open their minds about yeah. it. I understand people have strong beliefs, but those strong beliefs are the exact beliefs that 
specifically in America, we're quick to jump on when an yeah. attack happens, like especially in Muslims. Oh, they're using their religious beliefs to act out and do this. Well, these people in this education environment are using their religious beliefs to basically disengage with yeah. a college environment. So don't go to college then if you don't okay. want to open I your mind. I never like Duke anyway. They always <laughs> win, like lose. But you're right though, because you can you can still have your beliefs, but you can still, while learning about other beliefs, okay? Yeah. All right, it'll this was a good make conversation. It more difficult. What? I'm saying it'll definitely make it more difficult for you to enact judgment the way you're doing if yeah. you actually do take the time and learn about other sensitive marginalized groups like that. But I love it. Amen. Yeah. Hassan, good final man. words, Hassan. Good final words. Sorry about that. Okay, you guys, please keep this conversation going. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys all next time. I'm Pop Trigger. Thank you to our lovely guest today, Chevron, Francis, Hassan, the Hun. We'll see you guys next time.